take a walk with me And maybe we can talk a while We don't have to go too far We can get it done in just a mile I know we don't agree on much Everybody lives a different truth So before we hit the road I was thinking we might all trade shoes And walk a mile in mine I would do the same for you You might see into my world Why I believe the things I do And maybe I might come to know A side of you I never knew We would see with better eyes If we just trade shoes No, we don't see eye to eye And that we sing in different keys We get used to hearing just one voice But I believe in harmony We all got a lot to learn And maybe we might get a clue Before we give up on each other There's still something we could do Walk a mile in mine I would do the same for you You might see into my world Why I believe the things I do Maybe I might come to know A side of you I never knew We would see with better eyes If we just trade shoes Publishers of Big Blend Radio and TV Magazine and Parks and Travel Magazine. You can check it all out at BigBlendMagazines.com. This is a special show today. We have six tall men in the six pack. In the six pack here, <laughs> and um, we interview them once a year on our happy hour show with the Tall Men Group. And um, we get to have a we get to have a double pack, so we're up to twelve now mm-hmm. <laughs> this year. Um, and it's really a special show, a, a special, I would say, recording collection of songs all about walking, off of their album, Walking. And we'll talk about how this album came about. Uh, but you just heard If We Just Trade Shoes. It's by Jeff Kozak. And uh, this is an amazing. Um, I, I encourage it. you to go to tallmengroup.weebly.com. Find them on Facebook as well. Um, just one of the best singer-songwriter bands that we know. We play their music on Big Blend Radio probably every week to two weeks. Um, and Walking came about from a challenge, which goes with how the band is. Um, they have challenges every month. And so I want to bring them on the show and, and chat with each one, and then we'll talk about the songs, 
we'll talk about how this challenge came to be because I know we're going to get nailed at the end on this mm-hmm. challenge. But um, let's bring Jeff Kozak first. Uh, can Jeff, I, can go I ahead say one thing? I want to call up a whole bunch of people and and say just listen. Just listen. And I'm not going to say who those people are, but you can guess. I just want to call a bunch of people and say you need to listen to this. The song, If We Just Trace You. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. an amazing song. It's tender. Uh, again, Jeff Kozak. Jeff, welcome. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for having the talls back. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Like, you, you emailed me and said, hey, we, we got six songs about walking from our last conversation. <laughs> you know, you want to hear them? I'm like, you get, get on the show now. And then we sat and listened to the songs. And then it's like, oh, my God. Like, you guys do challenges. A, and then it's amazing. It's amazing. It was, it was equally serendipitous for all of us because when, we, uh, when, when Ed and I listened to all the collections of all the stuff we had recorded for everybody, it just it sounds like it does sound like a record that should be released, you know, in some way. Mm. But uh, you'll hear, t- you know, you're going to hear six different songs about six different uh, walks today. We hope you enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, it. I mean, now, well, we're, I want to get into if we just trade shoes, but I want to say sure. hello to everybody. Um, so, Marty Axelrod. Funny man, how are you? Good. It's good to be back with you. You too. You too. I'm excited to play your song too. Um, you know, so we've got She Can Walk. Oh my God. Like, I want to dedicate that to all Walmart boondockers. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Everyone will hear why, but no, no. But um, it's some. It, it, you always take life stories. And just like, do you ever think about going into movie making because of the stories you <laughs> tell? Uh, I've written a couple movie scripts, but I find songwriting a lot more fun. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you get the characters. Like a short attention span. Of life. Oh God. Come to our land. Come to our <laughs> land. And number one, um, I know we're used to having happy hour with you. Um, are we behind on the drinks? What would you like, Marty? You're you're one beer behind on it. Yeah. Oh, I can okay. fix that. Get, <laughs> get Priscilla out. Get like. everybody a round of beer here. Get everybody around here. Um, also, I want to bring Jimmy S in. Jimmy, the muffin man, the chef. Um, as you walk away, is a song we're going to play. Jimmy, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? You know, every time I think of you two, I think of you like in a treehouse somewhere in the middle of the forest. Broadcast. Sounds right. <laughs> That's about how we feel. But we're in the middle of the desert, so uh-huh. we could have a saguaro tree house if that's okay. Ouch. I know, but we used to live in the mountains in the in in a forest, so that sounds good too. We, you know, I love that. I love that. And Jimmy, can you give everybody just you know for new listeners um, who haven't heard our broadcast with you before an overview of how the tall men met, or or this whole tall men group came together? We should say. The tall men came together because I had a crazy idea of bringing in uh, five of my my friends, my my songwriter favorites, to meet once a month and just talk about uh, music and what we're doing and how we're selling our CDs. And I would cook them dinner. And to my surprise, they all said yes. And um, we just took it from there and and ran with it, with the uh, the prompts and the challenges and... and, um, the, the albums we just finished our fourth album and the walking album will be um kind of a five album so yeah. it's been a, a hell of a ride it's been seven years now hmm. so, so it's interesting because you've come on the shows like as as you've you know done your challenges and got together then we've done you know the annual show of an annual album with 12 songs two songs from each of you the first album 12 by 6 you know and then Going down to, uh, we've got 12 by 6, Too Tall, and Feast, which makes sense. You know, I always think about that because you're cooking, Jimmy. And then right. Strip Down. So now what I love is you've went from Strip Down to Walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Six tall men, Strip Down, and Walking. Yes. That's it. Uh-huh. And uh, Feast can fit in there wherever you want to put it. But anyway. <laughs> just saying. 
And then the 12 by 6, I mean, if you take your album titles, like, that's really interesting. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. Hmm. People could make a Pinterest <laughs> account with it. <laughs> it's fun. But, no, you guys, you guys write such great songs that are timeless. And I think that's the quality of songwriting. And as we interview so many musicians, I always go back to your music because of this quality of words, harmony, the rhythm, the melodies, as something that touches you. And, and so I kind of I use you guys as like a bar of who we're going to put on shows. Like, do they match wow. up to that, you know? <laughs> and we interview a lot of musicians. I know we it's like a habit. It's a good habit we have. But um, I always go, like, when it's a singer-songwriter, do they have that? Do they have that where it hits you immediately? And you guys have that. And, and walking is uh, something that is amazing for Nancy and I. You, we're passionate about getting people out to walk. And the one-hour walk group, and when you were on the last show with Stripped Down, we challenged you to take this as your songwriting challenge, walking. And you absolutely, I mean, you did it within a few months. And we we thought, oh, you know, we were having happy hour with the tall men, but you guys lived up to it. And I think that is, I I was like, Pretty much in tears when Jeff emailed. Oh, yeah. How many men live up to what they say they're going to do? Yeah. <laughs> well, you better. You're 12 by 6. That's why you're <laughs> That's it. But, you know, no, really, I mean, that, that's awesome. I, I want to say hi to John Stowers. John, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's good to be here. It's good to have you back on, too. And I know we're going to play your song, Walking on the Ocean Floor. Yeah. That is some. This, That's so cool. I love this song because it's got like an ocean vibe, but you know, here we are in the desert, and we always feel we are walking on the ocean floor. And mm. I know you hike around areas that you know that it used to be an ocean, right? Mm. Even though it's like it's still got love in there, right? There's a lot of love in this this hey, collection of songs. I found a shark oh, yeah. tooth in the desert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you so find all kinds of shells, everything there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I know it was the ocean floor. That's right. That's right. And then we've got Severin Brown here. Take My Hand is, is his song. Severin, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Uh, you know, just still like kind of really just shocked about you guys putting six songs together off of a challenge. We're just, <laughs> it's a lot to do. Did your song... Take My Hand, is that something you had, like, in, in a basket somewhere, or is that something you wrote new? Oh, it was brand new. Uh, uh, I've been, In fact, I've what I've done since the last time we've spoken is that I've fallen in love. And so I try to, I try to not write love songs, but it's not working <laughs> oh, wow. out. Uh, oh. they, it, all, it all went, you know, I, I get all mushy and stuff, and I hope the song is not too mushy for you. No, you no, know it's all not. the women are going. I love you. No, but I I remember our last conversation. You were leaning towards the mushy side. I was like, something's going on Go with Severin. Ooh, <laughs> hey, love is good. <laughs> we gossip about you guys. <laughs> love is good. And then we've got Indeed. Ed. Ed Tree, hey. how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, I and I walk on. That's like kind of like a coming to reality moment. How are you? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like freaky. Right. Doing very good. I just got back from Mississippi. I was down oh, there for music, yeah. Down there for a music yeah. festival and just just got back. Oh, nice. Did last time you were on the show, we were talking about Oxford, Mississippi, and uh, right. did you go to Oxford or where where were you in Mississippi? I was in the south of the south. I was uh, uh, down near Louisiana, so I was about uh, mm-hmm. twenty miles from Louisiana, my little hometown down there. Cool. Nice. Nice. We're going to be there soon. In the next few All months, right. we're going to be mm-hmm. doing the Natchez yes. Trace, going to oh, Natchez. Oh, right. yeah. Natchez then Trace is Natchez. so beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Natchez, Natchez, and then is, going the, uh, the Natchez is about 55 miles from where I was. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. It's and I want to do some of the trails. There's, you can walk that, apparently, walk the trace, like, these old buffalo tracks, and I want to do that. But that's yeah. time wise, was a walking trail. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And then nobody makes trails like buffaloes. 
don't mess with the See, buffalo. I love buffalo. Mm-mm. Talking about walking. They're tourists. Well, Nancy's a tourist. Don't mess with her either. That's right. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So I know we're going to go up the Natchez Trace, and then we're going to do the Bourbon Trail. So we might have to call you from the Bourbon Trail, like like you're okay. calling us right now. Very cool. There you go. That sounds <laughs> about right. <laughs> really funny. People That's are the one calling thing we already. Forgot to do. They want the album. They want the album. Right. They're already saying, "Give it over. We want it. We want right. it now." No, so listen, let's let's play another song because hey, that's that's what we're supposed to do on this show and we love it. All right. Again, um I can't believe you guys took up a challenge and did it like just what happened with that? How surprised were you know. girls? <laughs> How surprised were you when you when you heard that we recorded songs for you? Totally. You have no idea. Like, literally, I was having a really crap day, honestly. Like, one of the days that just, like, you just say, why, why? And Jeff emailed, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't even, I cannot even believe you guys did that. And and having it be about walking, you know, that challenge was amazing to me. Yeah, I mean, we write. They want the album. We we write six songs to a theme every month, but this is, we don't ever record them all like this, so that was just for you guys. (laughs) Okay, so as we laugh because of the (laughs) the phone ringing, okay. I know. Sorry, we have to. We have to laugh, you know. But I, we were both like, I, I walked out to Nancy. I'm like, you're never gonna believe it. The tall man did the challenge. And you were on the show, what, April 2nd or something? April 2nd? And that now yeah. we're in July. But you say six songs a month. You write six songs a month. I mean, right. like yeah. between you all. I mean, one each a month. Right. That's a lot. That's that's it's, a lot. That's what's amazing about this band is the, the depth of the material, how, how many almost good songs we have. <laughs> you have he's not songs. referring to no, himself there. No, he's putting the old No, okay. In there. So I want to I want to play Uh-oh. Jimmy's song. Oh my gosh, as you walk away. This song, Jimmy, like honestly, this is like a heartbreaker. Yeah, it is a heartbreaker. It is definitely yeah. a heartbreaker. Yeah, just it kind of it, it like I know from, that feeling. It came from a a friend of mine who I met. He was coming back for us from Australia, and he went there with hmm. this girl he met in New York. And he went there because he was in love with her. When he got there, she went back to her old boyfriend and just left him <gasps> completely oh. on his own. Dude. And so I met him at the L.A. airport when he was going back to New York. And he said a line to me that I wrote down on a napkin. I had it in my, like, papers for years and years and years. And when the walking challenge came, and he just said, as you walk away, please don't turn around. Mm. And I wrote that. Yeah, I, wrote, I, did, I said to him, I said, that- hold it one second. I ran in the bathroom with a napkin and a piece of and a pen, and I wrote this line down, stuck it in my pocket, put it in with my lyrics. And when I was thinking about the book, when you gave us the walking challenge, I was just going through old songs, and there there was a napkin. Yeah, so. that's how you know a songwriter when they do that, when they cannibal, cannibalize their friend's sorrow. No, I mean, <laughs> when they, when they like, hear hey, something. It's like, hey, I don't care. Just okay. hold those tears. I need okay. to watch them no. drop. <laughs> I have to just write it I down. I just have to go there with break cuts. You know when you break up, if the person turns around when they're walking away, you're not broken up. See, right. we know this. Yeah, that's it. You have to cut it cold. Do not leave things in the other person's place to come back for them later. Yeah, toothpaste, mm. toothbrush, all that. Oh, my sentimental panties and, uh, or whatever my it is. <laughs> <Don't handle laughs> it. Yes. Sentimental yes. panties is our next song. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's your next challenge, actually. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do that Whoa. to you. But no, but I mean, there's, there's, you know how people do that? Like, And then it's like, oh, do I really care um, about that item so much to go back and get it? Or, like, do you want to go, you know, are you going to make the excuse to see that person? And there's mm-hmm. always that weird rekindling. But there is and then, that no. turnaround. Is, uh-uh. Are they right. going to turn around or not? No, see, that's right. why I dump people oh. on holidays. But anyway, that's oh, just oh, the oh, <laughs> dump people on Wow. I'm, I know, it's terrible. It's terrible. You, you, but you can be cruel, you girls. You can be cruel. 
I know, I know. But listen, I've been through my own side of having the cruel dished out on me, and it's like, but oh, you, really? When you dumped somebody on a holiday, it's okay because they're with family usually. But I like that, the, the line of that is just don't look back. Because if you look back, then you're done. You're done. You're not broken up. No. Yeah. Then you have to go back, and the cycle turns again, and you're unless back on the hamster wheel. Unless you turn around and go, nanny, nanny, nanny. No, no, no. This is, you know, <laughs> but that's a cruel thing that your friend went through. That's just, that happened. It was. Happened. It was but, a terrible thing, and I'm so glad oh, I got right. a song out of it. <laughs> I know. So, everyone, here it is. So, I, you know, walking. So this has nothing to do about walking in national parks, everybody. Me and my one-hour walk group, this is about walking. And, and But I love basically everything in this album or collection of songs is connected to communicating, loving, understanding, you know. So it's cool. It, it's, it's like a whole other level. So here it is, That's everyone, true. as you walk away. When you walk away Please don't say goodbye One last time As I look in your eyes Don't say goodbye When you walk away And if I call your name Don't turn around I'm trying hard not to beg you to stay As you walk away As you walk away But if you have a change of heart I'm right here waiting Wishing in the dark If you have a change of heart And we're with the Tall Men group, and um, they put together six songs called Walking, a collection of songs called Walking. And um, this came from a challenge from our last radio show, and you just heard As You Walk Away by Jimmy Essien, who's, you know, started this Tall Man group, a monthly challenge of music, and they've put out now, this is their fifth collection of, al- of music, Four albums out there too, uh, stripped down. <laughs> you gotta get that if you're gonna go walking. Um, but also, um, we started this show with the song "If We Just Trade Shoes," and that was with uh, Jeff Kozak, and that's how we got to know the Tallman Group. And Jeff, I wanted to ask you um, if we just trade shoes. 
this kind of still feels to me a little bit going with your dad songs, you know, going to your father and, and you know, lessons of my father. And is that part of that collection of, well, of stories? I, I will say that I do write a lot of songs about us treating each other better because that's kind of how I believe that the mm-hmm. world is going to get to be a better place, you know? Mm. Jeff wants to heal the world. I do want to heal the world with songs, you know? Mm-hmm. Good. And then I want to buy yeah. a Rolls I... Royce. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. That'll fix the world. Well, That's you know, nobody I... works for free. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, I, I do try to write songs that speak to us, uh, you know, kind of getting together and not being so divided, you know. Mm. It, uh, I know, I love It doesn't that. feel good. It that. doesn't feel so good right now. You know. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I, I feel like that that's I, I wanted to start the show with that because I think it's such a positive message out for all of us, you know, that we have to walk in each other's shoes. And as Nancy and I as travelers, that's what we do. Yeah. And there's things that we don't agree with, but you're still in that other person's home. You're eating the food that maybe you never thought of eating. Um learning right. things. It will never eat again. You know. And you need to, yeah, I mean, you need to connect. And I think we Indeed. need to, you know. So it would be and, better and for all of us if we, it would certainly be better for mm-hmm. all of us if we did. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I must admit, I, yeah. sometimes I'm much better at talking the talk than I am walking the walk. Well, it's not easy. Well, it, it, look, look at this. Look at it this way. If you do one thing well of like music you know you're still doing you that's walking the talk you know you're you're yep. just, you're, you're walking the tall man <laughs> group you know? that's the thing you're putting something it's, it's you're still putting action you can't be perfect none of us can be perfect every day what we can do is take action on anything we care about whether it's love uh you know personal relationships uh business relationships is put the best foot forward we can and do something, and I think that's what like that's what I was trying to say um, before we played your song as you walk away was like Jimmy's song um, that this album to me is about communication, and that's what walking is about. When you go for a walk with someone, it allows you to stop the anger sometimes because you're busy walking and have that mm-hmm. conversation. It may be in a calmer place sometimes, depending on where you are. Sometimes it's not. But there's something about walking versus staring each other down in a boardroom or staring each other down in your living room. or You know what I mean? There's something about mm-hmm. walking. Yes, because no. when you're out on the trail and you're, there's no one around and you're out there and here comes another hiker walking your way, you always say hello. You always mm-hmm. greet them. Right. You don't do that on the street when you're you know, walking around. But on the trails, always always acknowledge the person that's out there doing the same thing you're doing. Yeah. Mhm. Exactly. It, it's there's something about um, getting out there. Sometimes people are solo. Sometimes with more people, but there is a hello. We're here, and it's important because you may need to know each other down the road if something negative happens. You know, right? It's important. You know, just to know. Hey, we acknowledge you. We see you. I always like when I well, I photograph people as they continue walking. I, fo- I photograph their <laughs> From behind, so we can use it in the magazines. Nice. So, like, I have a lot of butt shots. Um, <laughs> but it's just show people we can send you some of those. Well, it's true, you know. <laughs> Nancy just did this walking map of Wales for uh, Debbie Stone. She did this the walking the the Wales Coast Path. It's an 850 hmm. mile walk wow. on Wales uh, in Wales on the coast. It goes the entire hmm. coast. It's the longest walk for a country. Anyway, so hmm. she wrote an article. We we just you know aired her interview, but Nancy put this map of where she went with photos of each where she stayed, where she ate, and all that stuff. You know, because it's different over there. It's not like you're in the wilderness, but you kind of are. But you know, and she's putting this map together, and I started zooming around on Google 
and looking at the neighborhoods, and lo and behold, there was a guy bent over with his butt crack. <laughs> then you know where I was talking about, Nancy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So I do take butt shots. Sorry, and that's let's terrible. Hear it for Tommy's <laughs> underwear. Yeah, I know Tommy's <laughs> underwear. Yeah, for k- kissing the Barney stone. That was another thing you did for her. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, sorry guys. Sorry, we went off topic. It's happy hour with the tall men. What do you expect? Okay, so let's go to Marty on this. On this since I've already put my foot in my mouth, right? Marty, uh, Marty Axelrod uh, always has humor, but I always feel like your humor is like paired with good drama. Like you're, yeah, it's drama. It's, it's real, right? It's it's yeah, always well, this real story where you have to find humor to make it to that we go through in life. If you don't laugh at yeah. what's going on, like you're you're screwed. Right. This song is about something that I'm angry about. But if I just wrote an angry song about it, it would be a really short song and a boring mm-hmm. song. So I had to find a way to make it uh to you know, to do something else with it. Yeah. I think you dude, I I love this song so much. Okay, so let's just play it. Everybody take a listen. Can I just go, she can walk. <laughs> <laughs> Not just she can walk. Hallelujah. She can walk. So oh. people listen. I park my lawn chair outside the Walmart. I'm not petitioning, not selling thin mints. No, I'm just watching as a car parks in the disabled space. And then I wait for a miracle. She can walk. Thank the Lord. That placard said she couldn't. It was issued to her cousin. Hallelujah. I'm a witness. She can walk. Thank you, Jesus. She can walk. She doesn't about face. Back to her Audi. Moves to another space. Then she glares at me. With a couple curse words Well I've heard worse words All I know Is angels are looking out Cause she's been saved Thank the Lord From a fine that is hefty Upwards of 250 jubilation We're all a witness She can walk Thank you Jesus She can says, mind your own business, and who are you to judge? Well, I'm just here to bear witness, but is the megaphone too much? She can walk, thank the Lord, that placard said she couldn't Issue to her cousin, hallelujah, we're all a witness. She can walk, thank you Jesus, she can walk. If she can walk in Walmart, then she can walk. Everybody, right. you're listening to Big Bend Radio, and you just heard She Can Walk by Marty Axelrod, and it's part of six songs of the Walking Collection by the Tall Men Group. And that, Marty, like, that is spinning it the other way, right? That is so, it's so perfect. True. Because, it's so true. and sarcastically freaking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, delicious. It's like, here's your cake, and the jam in the middle is really ketchup. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. I love this because the last song is like, okay, I'm not going to break up with you because I felt really bad about breaking up. Now this one, I'm like, yeah, you son of a whatever, you can walk. Yeah. We've seen you. Oh, we've seen tons of people do that yeah. all the time. It's it's wrong. And then yeah. there's the other side of the coin of um, the 
uh, there are people that will try and put businesses under for the accessibility part of it, which is also wrong too. So there's this middle ground of people needing to like stop it. Like, like let's let's you know, if we right. just trade shoes, right? <laughs> you know there was a law that was passed like people should have access to swimming pools in hotels, and they all had to get these special chair lifts that would take people who mm-hmm. can't walk who could probably yeah. all I'm saying is they walk to the chair all I'm going to say and then they get in the chair and the chair lifts them down into the swimming pool but people like the hotels we know like maybe two people a year might use it but they all have to get to it but the, yeah. all the hotels I'm, I'm okay have with them. that I'm okay with I'm that. I, I mean, I did I did some research for this song because I know that there are disabilities that are not visible. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's why I oh, yeah. that's why I made sure to assign the disability to someone else that she was using someone else's placard because then right. it's no excuse. After, you know that that was my out on that. But I'm I'm not claiming yeah. to know everything about disability. No, no, no. But you see it happen all the time. People yeah. doing it like. You know, you go to the bank or the post office. There's someone in there with that tag on, and mm-hmm. they're they're using it. Like you know, even yeah, if it's the kid in the car, right? You they're know, more special than we are. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I can absolutely see Marty in a lawn chair in the Walmart parking lot with his megaphone. That's what I <laughs> I lost it, it, it because it's of the boot docking. Yeah, I'm one the minute away from doing that. <laughs> of Walmart has just, it blows my mind how many people boondock, boondock there. And that's what, the, as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, boondocking, you know, <laughs> and people do that. They, you know, we're in Arizona, right? And so the snowbirds come in and on on their treks, they bring their RVs and they will spend the night in a Walmart parking lot just <laughs> for the fee of right. buying something from Walmart. Right. And they well, do. Walmart, for that Walmart can afford it, right? I know, but would you do that? If I mean, if there's people that need to, I understand. That's different. Yeah. That's like the whole homeless issue. That's a whole other topic. But she would you do it? Right. Not exactly homeless. No, but that's someone's home, you know. So at, at the end of the day, don't start me on the homeless thing because I will go on for hours about how we need to take care of the issue. But when you're traveling, I know there's times where you may need to do it, but would you? You choose Walmart as your destination. Would you do that? I don't think that? I've ever been to a Walmart in my life. <laughs> <laughs> How un-American of you! Yeah, yeah. I, I and, hope they have oh, disabled ne- parking. And the, <laughs> next week he, he met George Jones in Walmart. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Other Uh-oh. albums stripped down. Trip down and meet George Jones upstairs. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think it, it brings up mm, don't take the privilege because that's where the people that are anti, and I don't want to use the word privilege, it's wrong. It's like saying social security is a benefit, right? Um, it is about there are reasons, there are reasons why we have disabled parking lots and or parking, you know, spaces. spaces. And when someone abuses that, now you're going to make it to the point that we don't even have that for those who need it. That's what's going right. to happen. That's the point. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I've, well, I've worked... The political hour is over. <laughs> oh, I know. Sorry, I get on that. I'm just like, I know. We're all trying right now. Okay, so okay. so that on that level, let's do I walk on. <laughs> Ed, I think that's we're at that point, right? We need that. We need to walk on. So, Ed, tell us about this song. What happened? Where where did you get this inspiration? Well, it really started with the first line of the song. I, I walked into a hall of mirrors, and mm. I was, you know, I just that line just kind of popped out, and I, I followed it. So the song is really uh, about introspection and. The deeper I got into it, uh, even including uh, a recurring dream I have, um, it uh, became about uh, transitioning and um, from this life to the next life. So it's it's a pretty pretty deep song, and uh, uh, I, I can't say that I I, I planned this one out. It, it uh, I, I just sort of followed the song. 
uh, followed the ideas and in, included um, some imagery that uh, maybe is not too obvious. Uh, when uh, when the, I played it for the tall man, I asked them if they could uh, tell me anything about the, the person singing the song. And, and um, the uh, one uh, aspect of it is uh, that no one seemed to get was that the, uh, the singer is, is dead. So it's, uh, he's, he's passed over the other side. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty deep song. Hmm. For me, when I heard hmm. it, it was like I, I just got this vibe of too late. That was okay. that was the two words that came to my mm-hmm. mind. Okay. Too late. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's right certainly there, open to other interpretations, but uh, that's uh, yeah, that was my great. thing. All right. Yeah. It. It. it, it I, I I write weird notes about music. <laughs> I like, listen. <laughs> You know, I write things about what I'm hearing, you know, and it's weird, and I have weird notes, and I go, okay, what the hell did right. I write about this, you know? Yeah. But that's that was the first thing, too late vibe. That was exact note, exact words that I wrote down, too late vibe. So let's play it. Here it is, everyone. All right. uh, yeah, I Walk On by Ed Tree. Take a listen. Looking for the man I used to be But all that I could find Was a ghost I left behind Holding a photograph Of someone watching me A photograph Someone watching me I closed my eyes And stepped into a memory Dear to me But just out of my grasp I felt the autumn wind I want to hold you once again But your memory Is just too hard to catch The images Are moving much too fast So I walk on Technicolor landscape The ester red With streaks of sea foam green I swear I heard you laugh As your shadow crossed my path Floating here and there And somewhere in between You're everywhere Nowhere now it seems I walk on I walk on I walk on And all I walk on Your shadow crossed my path Floating here and there And somewhere in between You're everywhere And nowhere now it seems So I walk on
You're listening to Big Blend Radio. You just heard I Walk On by Ed Tree, one of the six tall men from the Tall Men Group, and this is from their collection of music called Walking from a Challenge. We gave them back in April on, on one of our Big Blend Radio shows, and um, they have a song each, and we're still, you know, dude, Godspect, or, you know, just like, what? Just like, you know, wow. but... I will challenge on. you again because you guys produce good when we challenge. I know. You. I'm like I can't. I can't even. It's like it, it, there's one thing to rise to the challenge and get it done, but there's another thing when it's like badass cool. And this, it, this is so well, deep. I mean, I, I walk on. Um, for me personally, is a a important song. You know, because for me, when things go on, that to me, I walk. I, when right. when stuff's going down, I walk. It's a calm way of dealing with stuff, mentally feeling. You know, you just kind of like, and that's it. And and that is kind of my mantra. I just keep walking on. I keep going. That's it. Just you know. And so it's it's when you sing, I walk on. Like that's my mantra. And so for me personally, that just hits home in a big way. You know. Wonderful. You walk it out, man. Sweat it out. As <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But oh my God, you guys! I can't believe you did this. So are are we gonna have to pay you back now with the challenge? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep. Uh oh. Okay. Well, we'll deal with it because now. But here's the deal. Like now, we're gonna have to go to the level. You know. That's right. Whatever it is, we're gonna have to. Up. Man, Jimmy, cool. does that mean we get dinner? <laughs> if if you uh, reach our level with your, um, I will gladly go to dinner. Hey, all righty. We don't always fun. reach our level. Come on. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, <laughs> I love this. This is like this is this is amazing. I I love these songs. Nancy and I both are like this is mm. so cool. Um, Severin, take my hand. Okay. <laughs> so it says to me it's, it's love it's yeah. pure love you're mushy you're in that zone what does it feel like because like I don't know anymore <laughs> <It's a tough> <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I know about love and feeling love but when you get into that zone of like you're you're in that zone of it's, it's the zone of okay I'm ready I'm there like you there's a it's and I'm not talking about marriage and, and documents I'm talking about when you know it and and own it. Love. Take yeah. my hand. It's kind of like that, right? Right. That own exactly it. right. Exactly right. Well, let me let me set the stage for you first of all. Uh, where I was um, every year for the last few years, I've gone once a year to a retreat in Stanley, Idaho. And Stanley, Idaho is just spectacular with the mountains, and it's right next mm-hmm. to the Salmon River. Uh, this mm-hmm. friend of mine has a beautiful house there, that, and she has a retreat there every year. Um, so I was there when, when this idea came to me, and uh, uh, somebody there, there, um, there were seven other songwriters, eight other songwriters there, seven, and um, somebody had brought a piano. So I spent some time next to the river and some more time by the piano. I mean, Ooh. we couldn't take the piano down to the river, but, but uh, uh, it's a quick walk cool. but from one to the other. And uh, it, was a, it was a spectacular setting, and this just flowed right out. Mm. Cool. Let's play it, and then I want to come back to each of you and talk about that, how you write, because I think that's always so fascinating, how people write. Is it words first? Is it the instrument? Sometimes it's both, some different, you know. Um, some people are singing into their phone now. I mean, it's it's changed. <laughs> you know, the world has changed on songwriting. Uh, right. So um, here it is. Let's play this, because it's beautiful. Take my hand. Everyone, again, from Severin Brown. Uh, it's beautiful. Take my hand, walk with me, 
Everything is different now The sky is bluer than before Though I don't know how What's this feeling deep inside We're not young but love is new Wind is laughing in my hair Birds are singing more in tune This is not the end It's only the beginning But oh, what a first inning Finally We both lost before So what are we afraid of? Love is what we're made of You and me Take my hand Walk hand in hand, love lights up the cloudy sky. I look at your sweet face, and my heart wants to fly. After all the celebration, we can rest in our new love and live our lives as one together. That's what I am dreaming of. This is not the end, it's only the beginning, but oh, what a first inning, finally, we both lost before, so what are we afraid of, love is what we're made of, you Confetti out, severance and love, everybody. This is, no, this is such a beautiful wedding song. <laughs> I know, it is the ultimate wedding song. Everyone, Absolutely. Take My Hand by Severin Brown, again from the collection of walking songs from the Tallman Group. Severin, oh. Yes. Go on. Like to call Severin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank Severin. you. Yeah. He's got, yeah, he's got the case suggested. of love. He's been. Somebody suggested it. It could be a second marriage song, you know. Somebody yeah. for, you know, a song for for people who are a little bit uh, maybe not so young anymore. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it to me too, because I think there's something I don't know. I mean, who says love starts at the? You know, who says where it comes and goes, or it should only be one marriage, or it should be this and that? I think. You know, we're living longer as human beings, and if, as much love as we can get, the better. So long as we're not hurting exactly. people. Exactly, exactly. And Look individually, we all we all you know go in different paths, and we all grow hopefully. And uh, and if it takes diff- it takes lots of relationships to do that, more power to us. You know. Yeah, yeah. That means you're loving a whole bunch more. Get it while you can. Howard Tate said so. <laughs> so. Rest in peace to him, man. I love that man. He wrote some good music. Sorry, just saying, just saying, you know. Yeah. But now we talked about how you guys write. You're on the piano. Um, so when we think about Tom and Grippa, we always think about Marty at the piano. So is that something that you typically do, Severin? Is write at the piano, or tell us tell us about your process? Is it different every time? It is different every time. Uh, I I used to write on piano a lot, and I kind of got away from it. I even sold my piano years ago, and so Ooh. I, yeah. So I in the last few years I've I've gotten back to uh, to playing piano more, and and mm. thankfully I have Marty to play piano because I'm not nearly as good as he is. So he's playing piano on that song with his fake green little you know carpet. Grass thing underneath the piano stool in Walmart in the parking lot, right, Marty? (laughs) Yeah. You've got your fake lawn and you got your little lawn chair and your piano, right? (laughs) Astroturf. There you go. You know, know, and and not to get like too political about that song, but 
when you write, do you just see something and say, okay, how am I going to handle this? I'm going to turn it, twist it, do something. Do you like, do you sing it to your phone like I'm? I saw something. I'm pissed at. I'm going to write about it and make it funny. How? Yeah, what's your all of all of the above. I just try to think what would nobody else do, and then do that. <laughs> Whatever yeah, like the first that. thing. Is. Yeah, that's great. That's smart. That's I like smart. that a lot. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh, now I know why nobody else did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but I, I always think, like, you just put it right where it is. And you do it in a funny way where people can take ownership in the way that they want to, you know, personally and go, like, oh, you know. And and a lot of it is just so funny and good. Your songs are great. I, I love it because mm. it just, you make us think of things that we just, sometimes just slough off and not want to think about and you you open the door of that's why I say this album's like uh, this collection of songs is a it's communication bridging gaps love it I never thought that of a walking challenge you know <laughs> you know I always said that walking is communication but it's it's really interesting what you guys have come up with Jimmy for you are you thinking of songs while you're cooking and baking muffins. Oh, abso- absolutely, absolutely. But it's oh, wow. um, it's just you you come across something in your mind that if you especially if you have a, a challenge um, or an idea that you're working toward, you're thinking about that constantly, whatever you're doing, mm. and then all yeah. of a sudden something hits you from who knows where, and you latch on to it. Sometimes I put it in my phone. And you get home and you play around on your guitar and see what happens from it. And sometimes nothing comes, and sometimes the the good stuff comes. So it's uh, it's hit and miss sometimes. You know, opportunity doesn't always knock. Hmm. You got to chase it. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I, 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 Jeff, I, w- I want to ask you this. Um, when you when you put out the album, this is the new black. And I and I feel that like when you did strip down with the Tallman group, and now even this collection of songs, there's this quality of just it, of just pure pure rawness, yet refined, amazing musicianship. So when something's raw and pure, it doesn't mean that it's rough, you know. Um, I agree. I would agree with you. Yeah, you know we what I mean? There's this musicianship that is, is badass and the the words, the harmonies and everything, but you guys, I, I've seen this trend over the last few years here that you're just getting right to the core of it. Thank you. You know, I, I, I agree with you what, what you're saying. As a matter of fact, Jimmy and I were just talking about this, that the more personal you get, the more, mm. the more you let people in, the more they want to come in, the more they do come in. You know, and we were commenting about that with regard to Severin's tune, Take My Hand, because uh, that song has ha- has some depth, ha- has some depth and that sometimes, uh, uh, you know, uh, none of us get right on the challenge. But but uh, but Severin really and, and some it. real vulnerability on that also. Yeah, because you know. he's writing from the fact that he's in love and he really, really feels it. And then we were just saying that. No. I mean, not to sell Marty's outrage at handicapped space stealer, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but Severin really really knocked it out of the park with his uh, with his tune. Thank you, Jeff. Did we lose them? Are you with us? Hello. Uh, uh, we're on air. Hello. We can't hear you. End the call. No. Yeah. Hi guys. That was oh, there we go. You scared? Yeah. We lost you. We disappeared. It's a little monsoon season here of things getting oh, back. Okay. We got we're here. All right. Was so it something here. I said? I don't know. Nancy started speaking, and the world said, "Well, we'll disconnect you." But we're here. Oh, okay. We're here. That's what yeah. I thought. I um, thought I said something to upset you guys. Is it something Jeff said? No, no. <laughs> never, never. No, we were just talking about the simplicity of music, of getting to the core and the heart of it. And I think you're right. It's um, when music speaks to you internally. There's songs out there that you party to and rock hard to, you know, and there's just, you know, things like Stevie Ray Vaughan that you just like, dude, that's just, you know, the most amazing thing ever. And then there's these songs that just internally will become like your life songs. Like 
when you when you were talking about letting people in, you're part of their emotional psyche of what's going on in the world and what they're able to breathe. And I think that's the beauty of simplicity of music and when it's tender and, and telling you stories, making you laugh, making you cry, making you feel, because at this point we're all feeling a lot of anger sometimes in the world. Some people, Everyone's going through something different, right? Absolutely. But when you feel, you need to feel, because when we don't feel, then we really are... Um, big trouble. You're going to walk on <laughs> with, like, <laughs> walk on. <laughs> we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that yet, you know. Um, but I think this this collection of music is incredible. Um, John, I wanted to go to Walking on the Ocean Floor. Like, really, I love that. Um, but the, it's love, right, this song? Yes. We're going to yes. close this with this song. It, Tell us um, about it. I, it started as an image. Um, I, I was really struggling with this challenge because there's so many great walking songs. And I kept going back to walking on water, and I kept seeing myself trying to walk on water and knew I would surely sink to the bottom. And yet being the kind of stubborn Midwestern show me state guy, I was just going to keep walking and I'd get there anyway <laughs> along the ocean floor. So it was about maybe, maybe lowering the expectations and the fantasies of what we think love should be and, and getting down to the day day of what love is. All right. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It it it's kind of got a feel of the monsoon. Like you feel that pressure, right? Too, like just kind of, yeah. But then you got that vibe, man. That little bit, little bit of like, it's you got like a cross between R and B and reggae vibe in there. It's like a just yeah. I like it. It's it's yeah. a little jiggy, a little jiggy in there. You know, okay, part of so, that, part, yeah, part of that add on the uh, part of that is add on his electric guitar too. So yeah, ah, it comes from that. Yeah. yeah. And John that does RC. walk on water, but mainly in the winter time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what happens in the Midwest. You go fishing too, right? You know. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to ask each of you this fun question. But first, John, because I don't want to forget. <clears throat> okay. How do you write? Um, I'm kind of like Severin, different ways different, uh, at different times. Um, usually it's a, a melody or an image uh, that I get some, you know, it can be a spark, you know, just something you can, you can, like, I always call it a, an emotional hook. Once I get the emotional hook, then I, it's in me and I have to finish the song. So mm-hmm. it can be either musical or lyrical or visual, yeah, or feeling, mm-hmm. everything. Wow. Do, do you guys like do it? Okay, so like you know, Ed, are you recording things in your? Phone? I mean, are you guys doing things on your phone? That's what I want to know. Are you handwriting? Are you like you know? This is this, this was is interesting to me over the last few years of interviews of musicians of all walks of life. It's suddenly like now people are doing things on their phone, and yet I'm one of these people. Like I know we do all this digital stuff, but there's something about writing things down that I just, if I don't write it down, like my brain says, you know, you, you're out. So, like, do any of you really just record on your phone or do you write out of, out of you know, when you've got an idea? I definitely, um, this is Jimmy, I definitely uh, put melodies into my phone or a line or a lyric idea when I'm out hiking, for sure. That happens a lot. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this is Ed, and... Uh, I definitely uh, use a, a, a pad and a pen. I keep one by the bed, and, and uh, uh, sometimes I'll come up with an idea early in the morning, and I'll just, just grab that. Uh, but I also, I mean, it's, it's like uh, all, all the ways it's possible to do it. You know, I, I use the phone for little snips of melody or a, or a guitar lick. Um, and then at a certain point, I'll move to the computer, and I'll start taking these, these bits of things that I've written down on my pads and, and uh, I start forming it in like an, in a Word document for the lyric. Mm-hmm. And I'll sit there with the guitar. And then when I get something that, that feels like it's finished, then I'll record the whole thing on the phone and listen to it and wow. say, does that work? And a lot of times things emerge that uh, just in, in listening to it, I'm like, oh, I thought that worked. That doesn't, what, what do I need to do there? Um, 
So it's it's nice yeah. to have the technology, but it, it, for me, it, it it really starts with the the basics: uh, an acoustic guitar and a a, a pad and a, and a pen. Jeff, I know you do a lot of production mm-hmm. and and producing and and everything. And I just wondered, did you ever think when you know, you got into music that you'd end up doing things on phones and and Dropbox and all that? Like, did you ever envision it going this way or? And as it did, did you go like, oh, it's another, you know, foot pedal for the, you know, <laughs> kind of thing? It's no, you know, tool. actually, you're 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 talking to somebody who had a clear vision of what he wanted to do at age 20, um, and I'm doing it now. This was always my goal. I, you know, I had another life. I had a career and something else. And all I ever talked about with my clients was looking forward to the day when I would could go to the studio every day instead of coming to the office. And it's always been, I've always had a focus on being able to do just what I'm doing now. Mm, awesome. Mm, and so, and I, and, and I do write a lot on my phone. <laughs> you do, okay, so the phone is in. Okay. John, the phone yep. is yeah. for you. You're, Absolutely. Okay. So I, this is, it's a new tool then. It's not like a, it, it's not a negative. It's a positive for you guys. This is a good thing. Yeah. This is yes. A good thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, how, this how is you, Severin. This yeah. is Severin. You know, I want to reiterate what Jimmy said. Um, Jimmy said that he hikes with his phone. And I do that. And I, I'll hike all the way up, you know, Echo Mountain and uh, with my phone oh, in yeah. my hand and my water bottle in my other hand, you know. And I'll when I, when I get something, I'll just hit record and I'll record it. Melody and words and everything. And wow. I'll listen to them all when I get home, when I get down. And and what Marty oh, does, Marty sometimes. goes to Walmart and goes, takes his phone and goes, look at this woman on the left. She's 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 supposed to. Be, you, know. you, you know what's the best though when you when you put something on your phone that's really good and you forgot about it and then like a month later you click on this little button and you say what was this because it has no title and then you go oh wow I remember when I recorded that I love that that's that's really good I like doing that. Oh that's cool that's it, it's just yeah. so interesting wow. to me because. Like I'm sitting with a box of stuff, you know, of, of writing and, and going, okay, do you remember the lyrics? Like in the mornings when I, when I wake up in the morning, because, you know, when we went on tour with the, our National Parks tour, we gave everything away. And I have, you know, we had like our basics in stores, like the basics of your life, you know. Here's your photos. Here's your music. Here's like, you know, Nancy's art, that, that kind of basic thing. And... I, I don't even have guitars or anything left. And, and so, like, I, I, in the mornings, I wake up to my music in my head, like the mm. songs. And I'm going through the lyrics and, like, battling and sometimes not battling love or him. But there's, like, this quest to continue to remember my music that I've written. And I always go, like, well, that's interesting because if it's not recorded, how am I going to remember that? So that's why I ask about the phone thing, too, is, like, it's a way of remembering what you've, heard or in your mind like what you're creating right and putting it immediately where sometimes when you're writing music if it's all just written paper or lyrics and you're not able to record it that's a great tool to have with your phone mm-hmm. like sure it's is. just amazing yeah you know i'm just thinking that how cool that is I'm so do you write songs right yeah I do, oh i, do. I didn't know I that oh yeah mm-hmm yeah. I didn't realize that you wrote songs. Yeah, no, no. It's it's it's. We had a band um, <laughs> many years ago when we started the magazine, and then we learned about bands that maybe you should be in or shouldn't be in, and and also while we were you know starting our magazine, there was like a business band conflict. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, mm-hmm. But it it was a cool time, and then I went off on my own did stuff and um, played with some great great people just really amazing people and um, just really got into more of like what we're doing now because to me listening to all this music out there there are so many good bands and musicians out there doing it and doing it and working at it really you have to work at it for people to hear your music and I feel really really honored to be part of that process you know, Nancy, you feel the same way. I know, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's like being part of that process of getting people to hear music, not just what's on the typical radio stations, but to open open your minds, your hearts to hear this amazing stuff that's out there. And you guys are 
hugely part of that. I mean, look at what you create. It's amazing. This is, to me, your six walking songs are incredible. So I want to know from each of you, one-hour walk, because, you know, don't forget we have our one-hour walk Facebook group, everybody. Just go to onehourwalk.com. That's that's the sponsor of today's show. Um, If you're going to take a one-hour walk anywhere in the world, where would it be? And who would you take with you, alive or passed on, so you could just sit and mm-hmm. have that moment? And um, we want to know the gossip from what are you talking about. <laughs> and if you're going to take a picnic lunch, we want to know about that, too, because we like food. So let's start with you, John. <laughs> oh, man, you're going to start with me. All right, well, yeah, why the not? First, thing, first thing that popped in my head is I'd definitely take a, be a walk with my wife, and maybe the Great Wall of China would be fun. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. The Great Wall of China. Okay, so you know, like, you have to get halfway there to get to the real part, right? Like yeah, that yeah. Long. Okay. So, have you ever watched Idiot Abroad on Netflix? <laughs> no, no. Oh. Check it out. Oh, you should. Just check it out. Um, he okay. Does, yeah, he does that. And so, just, just uh, <laughs> if... if if you like Ricky Gervais, you'll like it. Anyway, <laughs> just check wow, it out. I know Ricky. I do like Ricky Gervais. Yeah. 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 Check out uh, Idiot, Idiot Abroad. Abroad. It's yeah. Funny. It, it's okay. it's really good. Yeah. So, Severin, you, where where are you going for a one hour walk, and who with? Hmm. Wow. Um, I would choose the Grand Canyon, oh. and uh, who it would be with. It would be with my girlfriend, Lori. Ah, and, uh, lovey, lovey. Okay, uh, so the yeah. Grand Canyon. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, and she uh, she's writing a book, and she does, uh, she does the iPhone thing where she has, she has hundreds of iPhone recorded notes on her computer uh, that she's been writing for years and just keeping them all. And uh, that's how she's writing her book. What's her book about? Her book is a, uh, it's a guide for young people um, to live, to live healthy and to, to, uh, to live smart. I really, you know, it's changed so much even in the time I've known her that I really couldn't say a lot about it, but uh, it's, I can't wait to read it. And she's uh, she's going to be working on it as soon as she gets home from her trip. Well, cool. you, you've got to keep us posted on that because we have a youth success at radio show that we do. We 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 mm. it's a huge part of what we do is about youth and uh, right. keeping uh, connecting with them because um, yeah. we've got to take care of them. We got to take care of them and and make sure yeah, her, they, they have all the tools they need. Right, and she her I think what she's uh, uh, concentrating on is is young adults and uh, nice. teenagers, you know? And so exactly. uh, a lot of those people feel lost, and I mm-hmm. think that's where she gets a lot of her energy. Right. No, no, no. Please keep us posted on that. And, okay. hey, the Grand Canyon, that's, there's some good energy in there. So, Ed, i got to go to yeah. Ed3 here. Yes. Right. Where are you walking? Well, I'm walking uh, on the rim of the volcano on the Tongariro Crossing. Uh, in New Zealand, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm with my 25-year-old son. Uh, mm-hmm. He's uh, my favorite guy to hike with. Uh, I like to hike fast, and so does he, and uh, neither one of us likes to talk too much when we're hiking. Mm-hmm. So it's just uh, it's nice to share it with them. We both really enjoy the beauty and uh, the physicality of, of hiking, and he's just a great guy, and then we, we, uh, we talk about it later, but we can do some serious hiking together, and he's, he's, uh, that's the guy I would take. Nice. And, and New Zealand is quite the hiking place, you know, yeah. the hiking destination. And they have yeah. hostels for hikers and stuff, right? It's, like, really a cool yeah. place. Like, yeah. Yeah. I want to go. I, we haven't I, been I've, there yet. I've been on that trail, and uh, the, the weather was so bad, uh, we couldn't get up to the rim of the volcano. And so oh. it's... Uh, one of those uh, unfinished business hikes, you know, it's like yeah. I, I got to go back so I can I can finish that hike. The trail was you could flooded. Go to Hawaii. Uh, the, yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> the new island. Yeah. yeah. So, 
Right. No, but I, that's 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 you know when, when things you know when whenever we travel, I mean in general anybody you know there's there's uh, we call it detours. It's always something's going to happen. It's going to change, and I always think that's an opportunity for something good to happen. And I think that's what like you know when you're saying you weren't able to go there with the weather, it's like hey, so you get to have more time with your son and do it again. You know, right? That's cool. Right. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Marty, where are you walking? Uh, I think I'm walking with uh, my father-in-law who passed away about a year ago, but hiking was his mm. favorite thing to do, and he was my favorite person to oh. hike with. And uh, we used to go into Sierras all the time. Uh, mm. And uh, nice. so I would, you know, he that would be the best. And since he has to come from the other side, I'd ask him to invite John Muir to. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <can> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I really want to meet John Muir because he was like a crusty Scottishman and like told people. I mean, he told you know Roosevelt off. Like he really just got into his face and like mm-hmm. you know there you yeah. go. You will protect yeah. these parks, damn it. You know, in a good Scottish accent. And he, I mean, I don't know. There's there's the the magic of what happened in Yosemite and the Sierras is, is just it's magic. It's pure magic. And I'm with yeah, you. Very the Sierras true. are amazing. Have you been to Crescent Meadow in the Sequoias? Gotta go. I don't think haven't. so. It's in the giant forest of Sequoia National Park. Yeah. It's kind of off, so maybe I'm wrong on that. Yeah. But it's kind of on the other side. But yeah. it's magic. It's pure magic. I'm telling hmm. you. Life dances. It's like ballet with butterflies and, and birds and in, the, in the meadows. Them. I'm a meadow person. And it's just mm. like when I see meadows thriving, I just go berserk. It's like... I just want to go and jump in and be with all it the sounds animals. Sounds like that's where like that's cool. where Severin should shoot the video for his uh, love song. Sounds yeah. like. <laughs> so do, I know, you know right? There we go. Meadow, meadow love, meadow love. There you go, there you go. It's running season. <laughs> there it is. Jimmy, where are you walking? Well, I love hiking along the ocean, and. Um, mm. There are two places I'd, I'd go. There's, there's a beach in Italy uh, in an area called Forte dei Marmi that I've been to that's just mm-hmm. phenomenal. And I would, I would walk alone. I like, uh, I like hiking by myself. But I'm definitely bringing some jumbo shrimp with me and homemade cocktail sauce. I'm having a picnic out there, that's for sure. <laughs> it's the, 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 here he goes. Big He's Sur Beach is food. another beautiful one. Big Sur, I always love walking the Big Sur oh. stretch. Oh yeah, that area is so mm. beautiful. That's magic. It's magic. Mm. We haven't been to Italy yet. Well, only airport stops, and that doesn't count. You know, I just want to say I went there, but it doesn't mean anything. No, it but doesn't. Italy, like I want to go really badly, and it just seems to me like Europe's beaches are so, and the Mediterranean is so interesting and different compared to here. You know, what we have here, even just <clears> going <throat> east to west of our country, the beaches are so neat. But Jeff. Where are you walking? Well, my walk is not as pastoral as my bandmates. Uh, I'd probably, well, I would of course be with my wife, but we would walk from Houston Street and Broadway down to the New World Trade Tower, the, the, where the memorial is, and stop mm-hmm. every 15 minutes for a glass of wine. <laughs> okay, I'm coming with you too. <laughs> it's only one, remember, it's just a one-hour walk. I know four good places along that street <laughs> to get a cocktail. <laughs> There we go. Okay, listen, what's going on about downtown L.A.? Because I've seen some interesting photos from you of downtown L.A. Like this, is it, it's, it's, the characters are, are blooming down there. They That's are. all I'm going to say, right? Yeah. It is. It's, it's, a, it's like, a fascinating place to live. I really do love it there. There's a, there's a nice life there, but there's also the reality of the fact that we have a state that is completely ignoring a gigantic homeless problem that's, ta- that's yeah. happening in LA. There's land to fix mm-hmm. it. There's money to fix it. The, uh, the city of Los Angeles has $250 million in an account to deal with homelessness and they won't spend a dime of it. I was just at listening oh. to a, um, a talk from somebody here who's a homeless activist and they will not dispense any of the money. There's mm-hmm. a problem, Why? but it's gotta get, it's gotta get fixed. Well, that it, $250 it really million does. Dollars well, it generates a lot of interest. Is it true you're going to split up into three states anyway? 
Hmm. Yeah. I don't I mean, see that. Gonna, I don't see that happening. Yeah, it's I, not going to happen. No, no, I don't see somebody it has to provide for the common defense. You know. What well, I think, I think you just you gave us a reason why people want to split up. They want to get their hands on the money. Right, and but, but also, but that the, the thing is, yeah, but the 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 homelessness problem has been going on. In, you know, started in 2008 it's too. All and over. And it's been happening everywhere. Nancy and I are just on the road. It's part of actually why we did our tour. We saw places boarded up, and um, the, what was going on. We did too many. I mean, not too many, but too many radio shows where it got uh, mm-hmm. on it on the issue. That we and we just there's an issue in our country, across yes. the country, and mm. the average age of homeless people are that it's nine years old, between nine oh. twelve years old. Wow. Okay, wow. not everyone yeah. thinks you know everyone thinks oh it's some <laughs> drunk drunk oh oh wait drunk veteran you know yeah. military veteran and yes there and there's issues with that but at the end of the day our kids. They're living in hotels. They're um, if they're lucky. If they're lucky. Um, yeah. So, as we look at everything in the country, um, we gotta we gotta deal with this and <laughs> take care take care of it's, of our it's people. It's a super um, complex problem with no easy answer, and I feel a song yeah. coming. No. Yeah, that's it. So there's <laughs> your next <laughs> challenge. Okay, so. Um, we're going to play Walking on the Ocean Floor to close our wonderful chat. Oh, my God, you guys so rock. You, can we just go on a big hike <laughs> together? I, w- I really want to do that. Let's do it. Um, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. We'll, we'll get there. I know we keep threatening to come out your way. We will be there in the spring. That is like a sure thing. We're doing a California trip in the spring, so wow. be All warned. Right. Be warned. Awesome. Um, Let Santa Monica know. National Amiga. Recreation Area. Just saying that would be a good area, I think. That's Great. a good place. Um, yep. Or the beach. The beach would be nice since we haven't seen it for a while. Um, but what is what is our challenge now? What do what do we have to write about? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Jim, what do you think? You don't, you don't want you don't want uh, you don't want to write about mother daughter relationships, do you? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. I feel feel the need for a drink. I know. I'm like, somebody give us some wine. Seriously? You love it from wine. You love a wine right about that. That's good. That's the heart of it. No, we'll do the mother-daughter. Actually, you know what? We'll do the mother-daughter. You know what? We'll do the mother-daughter. We'll take the the, the challenge. We'll take the challenge because. It's it's always the hard ones that are good. Yeah. No, it it actually I, needs to I, be written. You're I, absolutely I, right. I like it because I know way more about Lisa than she knows about me. <laughs> and uh, I know more about her than she knows. Oh, and she thinks she and, <laughs> Here we go. And by the way, everybody, Nancy's not my lesbian lover, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when people think that. Yeah. It's funny. Not it's that, like, I, that I, I don't. You not know, there's we, anything we wrong with Whatever it. we want to be. That's right. But um, if we're not telling you. If you say partner, this is my partner. Oh, that way. Oh, that. Oh, you run a business Ooh. together. Oh. oh. And I've How been long told. Have you guys been I've been told since birth. I've been told <laughs> by numerous women. Oh yeah. That if Nancy and I continue this close relationship of traveling, being mother daughter, <laughs> working and doing all these things together, mm-hmm. that I will never get a man. I'm just saying. So, yeah, I take that challenge. I want to write about that because oh, I believe right. yeah. Very that cool. Excellent, Marty. there's Good job, joy Marty. In, in beauty and challenge, big challenge of doing what we do. Just both. Especially working, you never especially get working a man together. Or you never keep, oh, I'll never get married. That was the thing. You'll never, you'll never get a man that way. <laughs> That's the name like, of the okay. song, You'll Never Get a Man. Yeah, I love well, it. we're writing articles, not a song, but we're writing. Art- we're going to write it in the magazine. But you really—that's a good one. I think we're going to call it. We'll never get a man. Yeah, we'll never get. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> or a woman, because guess what, people? You never know. Just putting out there, just to mess with you. Oh, um, dude, I know. Now I just started all over it. again. Okay, um, guys, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You have no idea, like literally. The the six songs written, I love it. They're they're amazing. They're just they touch every part of our hearts, and and we just I it really means a lot. So thank you, thank well, you, thank you, welcome. thank you, thank you. You sound thank like you Abba. Thank you for the music. 
No, I no, thank you guys about for, that. for uh, thank no, you, you for the well, challenge. Oh, I I just ah, you guys, I love it. Everyone, tallmengroup.weebly.com. Keep up with them there. They're on Facebook, CD Baby. Go get their albums. Just amazing music. And um, everyone, don't forget, Big Blend Radio airs Sunday through Fridays. And you can find out the schedule. Just go to bigblendradio.com. You can click on the link and listen as shows air. Or you can listen anytime you want from any platform that we have linked up on our page. So there you go. Uh, So thank you, listeners, as always. And, um, again, onehourwalk.com. Go there. Join our Facebook group. We want to see where you're walking. Uh, we're, we're all, we have a nice little community of, of walkers, and uh, it's all about health and happiness. So check us out there. Uh, thank you, guys, again. Uh, we're going to play Walking on the Ocean Floor, and I think we're going to do that because the monsoon is about to boom here any mm-hmm. second now. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> here it is. I know. It's cool. I love it. Awesome. Here it is. Walking on the Ocean Floor, again, by John Stowers. Again, it's the walking collection from the Tallman Group. Thanks, guys. You take care. Thanks, guys. Walk safe. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Stay off the fake green lawn at Walmart. It's not good. It's <laughs> actual. Here it is, Walking on the Ocean Floor. <laughs> Baby, I'm no Romeo Once you get to know me, though you find a closet romantic And I ain't got the smoothest move Surely gonna disapprove Of my dance floor antics You stick around, you'll see The deeper me, the sweeter tea Might be the man you need Who knows your worth, feet on the earth Yeah, all I got Got no riches, can't walk on water A simple man, baby, nothing more I sink right to the bottom Down here walking on the ocean floor I'm a stupid and brilliant man Stubborn, resilient lad Clever when I want to be And I'll never play you for a fool Love will always overrule Everything I'm gonna be Now stick around, you'll see the deeper me, the sweeter tea Might be the man you need Who knows your worth, feet on the earth All I got is love to offer I ain't got no riches, can't walk on water A simple man, baby, nothing more I sink right to the bottom Down here walking on the ocean floor Got no riches, can't walk on water A simple man, baby, nothing more I sink right to the bottom Down here walking on the ocean floor All I got is love to offer I ain't got no riches, can't walk on water A simple man, baby, nothing more I sink right to the bottom Down here walking on the ocean floor Walking on the ocean Walking on the ocean floor